I'm going to protest Exxon Mobil at this mobil station in northeast Portland. Hey, good morning. Particularly protesting their deception over the last 30 years. Life in your morning up, maybe. <laughs> you got a manager here that I can talk to? Um, I was on a conference call with Bill McKibben last week, and I asked him, well, what could we be doing to move the ExxonMobil scandal into the presidential elections? And he said, well, go out there and block more gas stations like I do. My name's Ken. I'm going to be protesting outside here this morning. For what? Um, against ExxonMobil corporately. Oh. For the, the stuff. But you won't be on our property, right? You'll yeah, I, I, I plan to be on your property. I'd stand in front of all the gas pumps. There's a sign here. Okay, well, I'll call and make sure what I have to do or, you know, if there's okay. a problem with that. My name's Ken. Okay, thank Take you. Take care. Yeah. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, okay. It's chilly out here. Uh, what is this all about? Um, this? Exxon Mobil. Uh, uh -huh. It turns out they knew all about uh, climate change and what was going to happen with uh, increasing temperatures on the earth. They've known about it for 30 years. Uh -huh. and they, uh, but they lied about it. Take care. Okay. Good luck. Bye. So what's the problem with Exxon Mobil? Uh, it turned out for about 30 years what the impact of uh, how supporting fossil fuels would be on climate change. Yeah. So you're more than welcome to protest off our property, and I mean, if you're willing to do that, then we don't have a problem. But if you know, if you're not, then yeah. the manager has now asked you to leave. Uh, I'm going to give you one final warning to go to the public sidewalk, um, or you're going to be arrested and taken to jail. Do you want to go okay. to the public sidewalk? No. Okay. All right. Under arrest. 